Long waits for ambulances and 911 service have become commonplace, but there are many reasons behind the delays. Tonight, the first part of a CTV News investigation into pre-hospital emergency care starting with the moment you pick up the phone. As Penny Daflos reports, Ecom is blaming delays on paramedic shortages, but their union says their own staffing problems are playing a role. It's always been busy, but BC's 911 call center is now at the breaking point. We're struggling under the strain of the volumes of calls and the types of calls. This year, calls have soared above pre-pandemic levels with long waits for help. Ecom leadership blames the shortage of ambulance paramedics. Because of that, we're staying on the line for longer and that depletes our resources able to answer the next 911 call. But the 911 call takers union says Ecom is also short staffed. It is 100% at both ends. There's a there's a staffing crisis and funding crisis at Ecom. There's a staffing crisis at EHS. When someone calls 911, Ecom asks if they need police, fire or ambulance. There are undoubtedly staffing shortages with ambulance call takers and that leads to longer waits since the operator stays with the caller till they're transferred. There are no delays transferring to fire departments but when the call goes through to police dispatch, it's actually another department within Ecom. They're contracted to deal with emergency call taking and dispatch of many police agencies as well as non-emergency calls. Ecom acknowledges that's short staffed and while they claim it isn't impacting those initial calls, staff say it contributes to backlogs. Right now, I know so many people that are actively looking for other work. Frontline staff work 12 hour shifts and aren't trained to provide medical advice, but they bear the brunt of delays. People don't get into this job to sit there and listen to people in distress. CTV News has obtained a PricewaterhouseCoopers report from April that emphasized Ecom is significantly understaffed. Those who are there... They're crying before their shifts, they're crying after shifts. They know that there's this extreme burden to work additional overtime. It couldn't be farther from the truth that we are adequately staffed. And while they still insist the initial 911 delay isn't their fault, Ecom does acknowledge... The services are connected and so any delay that's prompted in one service area will affect the other service areas. And Penny Daflos joins us now. Penny, this is part of a deep dive. You've taken into this important part of our emergency health system. I know you've been working hard on this, so what's next? Well, there are so many factors impacting 911 calls and ambulance wait times. Think about it. Everything from the family doctor shortage to paramedic burnout to the hospital staffing crisis. And the ripple effects are impacting other first responders as well as the many people who rely on these services. In the coming weeks, I'll be bringing you a lot more on these complex issues and hopefully some realistic solutions, Mijang. Looking forward to it. Thank you.